everybody. Thanks for joining me again. I'm Rachel with Vacation Rentals by Rachel, and we're here for another episode to talk about building your welcome book. So before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel down below so we can keep these videos coming at you. So first of all, I want to say I do have an old school physical welcome book, and I have one of these at each of my properties. And I think they're really important to include for a variety of reasons. So first of all, you want to include information about your house rules and about how to operate certain things within your home. And you also want to be able to give the guest a bunch of recommendations for things about your local area, such as dining or fun attractions and activities for them to do. Now your welcome book is going to be specific to your property, but should include a variety of different things inside. Here are some items to include in your welcome book. Your house rules, of course, should be front and center, but try not to make this too wordy because the guests will struggle to read this if it's really lengthy. Make sure to include the important things such as quiet time and other specific rules for your household. Emergency information, this includes safety information about your home as well as emergency contacts in the local area. So I like to include a local pharmacy and a veterinary hospital if applicable. Wi-Fi password, that one's self-explanatory as well as check-in and check-out times. Make sure you include the specific instructions for how to operate things like your television, your HVAC system, if you have a swimming pool or spa, or any specific instructions for the barbecue, all of those things you'll want contained in this location as well. For garbage and recycling information, you can include the information for when the garbage needs to go out to the street. Parking and transportation if that applies to your home. Dining recommendations, this is a really big one and I'll show you later how I include menus as well. Local attractions, you can include contact information, start times, or hours of business as applicable. And then of course, make sure to include your checkout instructions. And for me, I, again, I try to make these fairly simple so that the guests make sure that they can read and understand them. So I made my welcome book by purchasing a format on Etsy which then used Canva to make the pages. Let me show you. So for example, um, here's some specific house rules and emergency info. And I really like how it sets it all up with a nice cohesive design throughout the look of the books. Here's a quick overhead view of my welcome book, starting with the front page. Here's the meet the host and about the home. House rules, I like this really simplistic graphic view, emergency contact information, check-in and check-out time, security, safety, information about the kitchen, garbage and recycling information, transportation, local parking information, Wi-Fi, here's the password, air conditioning and heat, a lot of information there for our guests, favorite places to eat, Here's a list of summer activities with contact information, including phone numbers and websites. Winter activities, same thing here. And then an additional page in case they need other stuff to do. A list of additional 10 items. And then this is my checkout list. Again, very simplistic and easy to read. And then here are some additional sites where you can find my property. And then I throw in a few extra pamphlets from local attractions. You can also include information in your welcome book about how to find you through other methods. So if they booked your site through Airbnb or VRBO, you could include a lot of information here with your direct booking information. Another tool I like to use for that are these little placards, which I also found on Etsy. And I'll put the information down below, though I don't receive any compensation or kickback for recommending these. I think they're really neat and I put them in a couple different locations in each property so that for people who really like to use Facebook or Instagram, they can find my site that way. And I utilize those sites for advertising, like last minute cancellations of really popular times, if I have any specials or discounts that are coming up. I also like to advertise a lot of local activities. Um, I'm near a ski mountain, so like when the season passes go on sale, I'll put that information on my website to help just generate interest and keep people interested in coming back to my vacation rental for those local activities. Each property's welcome book is going to be individual and custom for your property. Some people choose not to have a physical welcome book anymore and they're using more online or digital products. Um, one that I've heard about is Touch Stay. I've chosen so far not to utilize that one because it does have 
a subscription fee monthly and in just trying to get things up and running and trying to be very profitable, I've chosen not to go that route. Though there are some things to consider for that. Um, TouchStay allows you to create a digital welcome book that then you can send your guests ahead of time before they arrive at your property. And this is really great if you're in an area that they need to do things far in advance. So if they need to make reservations for an activity or for a dining experience, for example, you may want to alert them when they book that reservation. And so sometimes it's handy to have that available ahead of time. The other alternative to that is my welcome book is available in a PDF format. And so if I have a guest who's having questions that I think would be answered, I can send that PDF to them ahead of time. So those are a couple different options for that. So of course your welcome book is gonna be much different than mine. The other thing I wanted to mention about welcome books is they're a great way to throw in a few extra things towards the back. So let me just show you, I've got some um, menus. So as I go around to restaurants downtown, I tell them I'm a local vacation rental owner and I ask them for copies of their menus. And if I can't get them that way, I can usually find them online and just print them out. And that's kind of handy when you're thinking as a guest, where am I gonna go eat breakfast or where can I get a great beer after uh, my skiing that day? You can find it in the welcome book. Uh, similarly, I include activities, so um, just information where they can rent gear, uh, hours that places are open, so I include that in my welcome book as well. So again, your welcome book is going to be different than mine, and my properties from one to the next have much different welcome books, but that's the part where you get to customize so it really fits your guests that are seeking that particular area and experience. So good luck with your welcome book. Put a lot of time and effort into it because it really will be the, your voice as your guests are staying in your home. And if you have any questions, please make some comments below. I'd love to reach back out to you. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel below so I can keep these videos coming at you because I love making them and love talking about vacation rentals. So thanks for joining me again today, guys. Have a great day. What are you doing? For fuck's sake.